Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. I am in Brighton at the moment. The sun is shining, it is a beautiful day, it is Saturday today and I am actually on my way to a pop-up shop. Some of you might actually know the brand, it's called Future Self and it is from a fellow YouTuber called Alfie Days who is really popular in the UK and I personally follow him for quite a few years already and I'm a big fan of him and his videos and I follow him for a really long time already and when he announced that he's gonna do a pop-up shop in Brighton so I thought I can't miss the chance to come down here and meet him and see the brand. Okay, but let's stop rambling and actually go to the shop now. <laughs> Also, if you've never been to Brighton, Brighton is this really cool, colourful beach town, really close to London actually, I think like an hour away. And you have like loads of like art shops here. The city is just so colourful, literally, there are colours everywhere and you have loads of vintage shops and restaurants and a lot of shops that sell art. So if you've never been to Brighton before, I definitely recommend you coming here. out of the pop-up shop just wandering through the little lanes of Brighton now they have like all of these lovely lanes around here full of just little antique shops and restaurants and bars and cafes which is really really nice and I'm on the hunt for a little bit of lunch I'm quite hungry now I want to go down to the to the beach because it is actually quite sunny now so I'm trying to find myself something it's kind of like a maze here um but honestly you get lost in here but yeah I'm just on the hunt for some snacks and a coffee probably as well and then go down to the beach, as I said, and enjoy the sunshine a little bit. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. It is a little bit windy. I'm at the beach right now, but I just got myself a bit of Nando's. Really fun actually. Last time I came to Brighton, I went to, I think it was Itsu, and um, I just got the lunch for free because I had some points on there that I didn't even know I had a card of points and she just literally spotted it in my wallet when I opened it and was like hey isn't that an Itsu card and I was like yes it is and it's like it's an old one so they already have an app or something like that and it's like no no we can use it we can use it so I got my lunch for free and today I went to Nando's and I didn't even realize I had a Nando's card and then I saw it in my wallet again and she scanned it and was like oh yeah you have enough points on there to get your lunch for free so <laughs> again the second time I come down to Brighton I get my lunch for free so I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. So I got myself a fino pita and I think those are some matcha peas. I'm starving. Mm. Really nice. Do you have to do as well? With Nando's I'm like, I always buy the same thing. I never go for anything else. I know I love fino pita so I'm never ordering anything else because I don't want to risk not liking what else I order and then regretting that I didn't take the fino pita. But anyway, um, I wanted to quickly chat with you about my day in Brighton. So I went to the pop-up shop which you might have seen. Um, I couldn't film too much, it was just a really small room but basically I went there because I follow Alfie Days for quite a few years now as I already mentioned and he did this pop-up shop and I really wanted to go there because I didn't have anything else planned for the weekend so I thought why not. 
So I went there, he was also there, which was really nice, so I met Alpha Days. And we took a picture together um, and chatted for a couple of minutes, but it was really lovely to meet him and it was really nice to go to the pop-up shop and I did buy myself something as well. I'm not going to show you yet because I got a few other things in Brighton today as well and a few things in London actually that I haven't showed you yet. So I, when I go back home, I want to do like a little mini haul for you so I can show you everything. But it was really nice, it was really lovely. Um, I was extremely nervous. I don't know why, I'm not a nervous person, but you know when you follow someone for so many years and you never actually see them in person and you suddenly stand in front of them and talk to them and it's like I, I completely lost my words I didn't know what to say so yeah that was a little bit awkward <laughs> I hope it wasn't too awkward but it was really lovely he was really sweet um, and yeah and afterwards I just wandered around the city a little bit through the shops which was lovely I'm gonna insert some clips here now I came down to the beach enjoying well it's not really sunny it's kind of cloudy sunny but it's still really nice and definitely better than a hot day in London um, because it got really hot lately I'm gonna finish my food now and then have a little wander around um, I think I want to go towards Hove which is not too far from Brighton and then take the train home from there and then when I'm home I'm gonna show you all of the little bits that I got today Okay, I just arrived back home. My god, I'm tired now. But before we end this video, I wanted to show you what I got. And I also, as I said, wanted to show you a few things that I picked up over the last weeks. And I would say let's start with, for me, the most exciting part, the um, Future Self shop, the pop-up shop. So it arrived in this lovely tote bag here and I bought myself the mint blue jogging pants and I've just unpacked it and guess what? I would say those are not jogging pants. <laughs> and now I have a hoodie, which is also lovely, but it's not what I wanted to have. But to be fair, everyone can make a mistake. Mistakes happen, not a problem. So I emailed them and let's see what they say. And if they fix it and everything's all right, it can happen, but still a bit annoying. I was really excited for my jogging pants now. Anyway, the fabric though is incredibly comfortable. It's this kind of, um, I'm not sure if it's fleece material on the inside, but it's extremely soft material on the inside and then a super thick kind of fabric itself. So it's super comfortable, thick, perfect for the summertime. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I probably don't wear this that much anymore in summer. Maybe the jogging pants because I'm still kind of working from home, but I wouldn't wear the hoodie in summer. That would, would just be too hot for me. Hence, I didn't go for the hoodie because I knew I'm not going to wear it anytime soon. Um, but yeah, it's a really comfortable fabric and I did try it and the hoodie does look really nice on. I'm actually going to quickly put it on and show you. Yeah, that's the hoodie on. <laughs> um, size medium, so it is a size up from what I would normally have. And this is it on, so definitely a little bit baggy, but super comfortable. It's lovely and I love the color. Um, but yeah, here we go. I have a hoodie now. <laughs> and let me take it off again and I also want to show you a few other pieces that I recently got. Okay, and here are a few other things I bought over the last few weeks, two months, I would say. Um, first of all, the outfit I actually wore today, which is this really cute crop top here from H&M. I think it was like 10 or 15 pounds, really not expensive. And I really like the way it's kind of cut up here. And it is a crop top, but not super cropped. I think it's perfect for high-waisted trousers like these ones. And I really like the color as well. I do feel like I'm blending in with my surroundings right now. Uh, <laughs> the yellow walls, this kind of like planty stuff here, um, the carpet and everything. But 
let's ignore that this top really like it super comfortable and then these trousers here which are from uniqlo i honestly really like uniqlo their new collection the summer collection is great and these trousers fit perfect they are a good length for me so if you are a tall girl like i am then have a look at those trousers and these are a little bit more baggy kind of more baggy than what i would normally go for but i think they look great they are in a linen mix material which i think is great i really like linen for summer it does crease unfortunately a little bit but it doesn't matter it's fine i think i can live with that and then next up i have this outfit which is very casual right now i probably wouldn't pair it together i just put it on together now so i can show you both pieces and these trousers are from esprit and they're this kind of really light kind of olive tone color which i thought looks quite nice for summer they're super comfortable they're this kind of cotton material and very floaty and baggy i really like them specifically with my converse or just some trainers i think it looks really cool and then the top is from jake's and it has this kind of snoopy print here or kind of embroidery actually and then on the back which i think is really fun it has this kind of snoopy print as well which i really like there's probably a t-shirt i would wear with some jeans and then tuck it in with some again with some sneakers or so and then the last thing i got is this top which is again from uniqlo and this top is a linen mix material as well which is perfect for summer i really like linen for summer the only annoying thing about linen is how quickly it creases it was just lying on the bed here and look how creased it is already it's it's ridiculous but it's it's lovely for summer it's really comfortable and i really like the way it looks i like the print i kind of like this it's not cropped but it's also not super long and i kind of like this length on me let me get my necklace out if you have some golden jewelry i think that looks really nice so yeah that is the last thing i think that one i can't even remember how much it cost but it is still in uniqlo it's the kind of new summer season collection um i think it was around like 20 pounds something along the lines so that was everything i wanted to show you let me know down in the comments how you like the quality of this video because i stole nick's phone today he has the new iphone and i still have an old iphone and i'm very much considering buying this iphone as well but i wanted to test it today and see if the camera is really good for filming and how the quality and the sound is for kind of using it as a vlogging camera but let me know down in the comments what you think and also if you like this kind of more vloggy um style and kind of like a come along with me throughout the day because i really enjoy it it's much more fun to film i think personally um yeah but that was it for today i hope you have a good day evening morning whatever it is for you and i hope i see you in my next one bye